Hello. Do you ever have those mornings where, like, everything just starts off fucking horribly and then it just fucks up the rest of the day? Well, like, I have those, you know, not all the time, but every once in a while where it's just, like, as soon as you wake up, you're brushing your teeth, you spill toothpaste all over your shirt, and then, like, you go to work and then you spill coffee all over your shirt, or, you know what I mean, you trip when you're trying to walk around the, you know, room and you stub your toe on your bed and blah, 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 those kind of mornings. Well, I had one of those mornings today. Sorry. Anyways, I had one of those mornings today where I couldn't find half the shit I was looking for. I was running about 10 minutes late. Um, nothing was going right. I couldn't, um, I just couldn't get anything going, right? Um, happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Um, but I just couldn't get anything going. I couldn't get anything right. Um, but I actually turned it around, so that's nice. And I'm actually in a really good mood today. Um, it started off terrible, like... I mean, there were good moments this morning. Like, I asked my daughter to be my valentine. She said yes. So that was a sweet, nice moment that I really enjoy, enjoyed. Um, but I don't know. It's just, like, normally when I have mornings like that, I'm, like, moving around a lot. I cannot get fucking comfortable. Sorry. This low budget. <sighs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah. Normally, it, like, fucks up my day, right? And it... Well, you know, I will allow it to fuck up the rest of my day. And today I just didn't do that. And I think that that's really important. And I just figured I'd talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm still in the OMAD thing. It's fine. It's good. Um, but maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's just like the fact that, you know, our diet really does affect the way we feel. You know, I have more energy. I feel sharper, you know, in my mind between the ears. You know, I, I feel more focused and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, this morning was shit. I was running late. Nothing was going right. Everything was going wrong. But by the time I got to work, I just let it go. You know what I mean? Like, I walked in the building. I started saying happy Valentine's Day to everybody. And just being kind to other people made me feel better about my day. I think that had a huge part of it. You know, if I would have just done my normal thing, if it wouldn't have been a holiday, if it would have just been like a normal day where... Or where Every now and then I stutter and I just can't get past what I'm trying to say. Um, if it was a normal day where I just wouldn't have said shit to anybody, maybe like a good morning to a couple of people, I may not have gotten past it the way I did. But since I was, you know, like uplifted and saying, you know, happy Valentine's Day, you know, to everybody and being sweet and being nice, it really did help. Um, I don't know. I feel pretty good today. Um... Oh, and I did want to say real quick about Eugenia Cooney. I saw online that she is going to stay off the internet for a while and that she's getting help. So I'm so fucking glad that she decided to get help. I hope she goes inpatient, but it's really none of my business. As long as she gets better and gets healthy, then that's all that matters. I'm so proud of her. I'm so happy um, for her because she deserves happiness and she deserves health. Um... God, I hope it works. I, I hope that she really sticks to it. I hope she gets into recovery. And I hope she stays in recovery. I know it's not, you know, just that easy. Um, but, I don't know. I'm, I'm so happy and so proud. Uh, I can't even imagine how hard it is to get over something like that. Because I do have disordered eating, which I've said in past videos. And, you know, I have an addiction to food, which I've said in past videos. But I can't imagine being that sick from that kind of problem. And having to come back from being so far gone. You know what I mean? Like, I've gotten a little overweight and a little underweight more times than I would even like to go back and try to count. Like, my weight has fluctuated between 100 pounds several times. You know, I've been closer to 100 pounds and I've also been closer to 200 pounds. Right now, you know, I'm pre I'm in the middle. You know, I'm around, one. I'm at 157 last time I weighed myself. Um, but my weight goes up and down, you know, because I just don't know how to eat like a normal person, you know. I either go all out, go balls to the wall, or I don't eat any fucking thing, right? Right now, I'm not doing either. So, right now, I'm doing this shit in a healthy way. And um, I'm eating the amount of calories I'm supposed to eat in a day to where I can gain maybe... Or, not gain. Jesus Christ. Uh, lose a pound a week. Um, which is where I'm in a deficit of 500 calories a day. Um, but I'm not consuming too little, you know, and I'm not overdoing it either, and I'm managing, so that's good. But I can't imagine how hard it is to come back from something when you're that far gone, you know? Like, I, 
it's got to be a serious, serious fucking struggle, you know? Because I feel like the mental process with eating disorders is very similar to addiction. Um, and it's the same as when there's, like, an addict and they're so far gone to where they're in the hospital getting ready to die. They have abscesses and all kinds of crazy shit going on. Malnourished from not giving a fuck about eating. All their teeth are missing, you know, like... And coming back from that, I'm sure that that's incredibly difficult as well. Because, yeah, I'm an addict. And I'm clean, but I haven't had to come back from being that far gone, you know. I've been homeless. Um, I've gone hungry. I've gone, you know, without food for days at a time. But I've never struggled to the point where, like, I'm, like, in the hospital ready to die on my deathbed, you know. And... So I feel for those people, and I, I wish anybody who's suffering, I wish all of you the very best. Um, you can do this. Uh, you will be okay if you want it bad enough. And um, my heart goes out to you. Uh, and my heart goes out to Eugenia, Eugenia Cooney. Um, I gotta go back in. I'm on my lunch. Not my lunch break. I'm just on my morning break. Um, so I'm gonna go. Just remember there's always hope that tomorrow will be a better day.